Telegraph Motoring just named the VW Tiguan as their SUV of the year. This one is mine that I've owned for the last six months. It's a 2012 model, uh, four-wheel drive. With this is the facelift model which has slightly different headlights and I think the styling is actually uh, quite nicely improved compared to the first generation and certainly the headlights are very effective in lighting up the road. The car has a 2 litre diesel TDI engine, very similar to other cars in the VW range like the Passat. Um, slightly different engine code to my Passat, but essentially it is the same engine. The car comes with 17 inch wheels, quite chunky ones, 235, 55, 17s. And as you can see here, that's quite a good clearance in the wheel arch and from the ground certainly compared to my Porsche 911 and there is body protection along the bottom of the sills which potentially over time might actually catch water and crud behind it which could cause corrosion but so far that seems to be okay and again you can see a very big big gap on the wheel arches there. So how does it actually drive? Let's get in and see. Being an SUV is obviously got quite a high driving position. You certainly feel like you're high on the road and also quite high in relation to the steering wheel. Um, I prefer, I'll be honest, the driving position in my Passat which feels a lot lower down and below the dashboard rather than being almost above it. But it's a very pleasant place to be, it's not a, uh, a bad cabin at all, um, all the controls are very easily within, within reach. So we have the automatic parking brake, um, which releases, you also auto, auto hold. One thing that I do find compared to the Passat is that the gear change is definitely not as slick. The gearbox feels a lot more notchy um, I initially thought it might just be this particular car but from reading reviews online other people have made the same comment that the gearbox um, yeah is not as smooth as some other VW ones something else that I've noticed is that the gearing seems to be quite different to the Passat so where at certain speeds in the Passat I'd be able to be in say fourth gear or fifth gear at the same speed in the Tiguan the engine is really labouring um, there is a display on the dashboard that actually tells you when you should be changing gear uh, but definitely at the higher gear so in fifth or sixth um, the sorts of speeds where I'd be changing into fifth or sixth particularly on the motorway are quite different to the ones in the Tiguan Motorway speeds, the ride is very well controlled, noise levels are good, very easy to uh, have a conversation, it's not, engine noise is not at all obtrusive, despite the large tyres, those aren't obtrusive in terms of noise either, uh, it's a pretty comfortable place to be. Something else that seems different compared to the Passat, and again they're meant to be the same engine, is that the engine in the Tiguan does seem somewhat more harsh. Um, the, it's very quiet, but um, certainly there seems to be more harshness. The stop-start system works reasonably well. Um, something to bear in mind is that it doesn't cut in until the engine is up to temperature. So you can see here it's not worked. Um, but the temperature of the engine is still low um, and obviously it's dependent on the battery voltage as well. Something I do find in particular with the gears is that sometimes getting the gear into third can be a problem. And obviously that time it was fine, but it certainly is not as smooth um, as some other cars um, that I've driven. And particularly compared to the Passat, the gear change is not anywhere near as uh, smooth and as precise as that vehicle. We're often needing to transport um, elderly parents around now and the rear legroom is really good and access to the rear seats is really good as well so uh, yeah it's very effective and also being slightly higher up um, they really like the view out. 
One thing that's particularly awkward is the um, mechanism for putting the rear seats down and it's very different to what's in the Passat. So there's a pull cord for adjusting, the, releasing the seats which you need to pull and then pull on the seat forward as well which is not very easy. So you can then pull on the seat back and it brings the seat forward but it's a two-handed job which in the Passat um, is not something that you need two hands to do. Boost space in the Tiguan is pretty good, not as big as in the Passat, but uh, for most families going away there will be uh, more than enough space for actually storing your luggage. There's also some useful um, space underneath the boot floor, as well as storage pockets on either side. You also have a 12 volt charging point in the back as well. I'd originally bought the Tiguan to replace my Passat and although the Tiguan was a great car to drive in the end I decided the Passat was more practical and was the one I would keep. In particular the notchiness of the gear change compared to the slickness in the Passat made me decide that it was a much nicer car to drive.